Hello people, so welcome. Um, today is a rather long video review and in fact it's so long I'm having to split it into two. The reason for that is basically um, I went out about three weeks ago to an all day festival um, and it was a very long day. I was there before even the bands turned up, so how dedicated I am. Um, yeah, so I was going around and interviewing all the bands and once I kind of edited the footage down I thought it'd be much better to actually play to you the interviews and then maybe talk a little bit about the bands um, in between. So it's going to be more them and less me, which some people might be relieved to hear. So, anyway. <laughs> so, first of all, on um, this section I am bringing you Party Cannon, Laceration, Zombified and Basement Torture Killings. <laughs> So first up, Party Cannon, um, hailing from Scotland, they were the first band on and I have to say um, it can't be easy for any band to be the first one on, especially when you're at these all dayers because it started, they started about what, past two, three o'clock, something like that, it might have actually been earlier than that, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, so they had to start really early, play to probably about five people um, with the always welcome, the one drunk man who is at every show in Glasgow and is always inebriated before he even enters the room. <laughs> Bless him. So he was there. Um, but yeah, so it must be really hard uh, for any band to go up, um, particularly if you're quite on the smaller side of things. Um, you know, I suppose maybe it's a confidence thing. I don't know. I'm kind of rambling now. Um, but yeah, but luckily they, I thought they did really well. They really, really tore it up actually quite successfully. The band in themselves are real hefty, they sort of tongue-in-cheek, real hefty slam band with real greasy breakdowns and they were just absolutely tearing around the stage going absolutely nuts so um, yeah it was quite impressive I see there's going to be a lot of potential for these guys so here's the interview Right, so I currently stood here with two members of Party Cannon Guys, how was the gig? Oh, it was really awesome, it's cool, I like the venue it's not too big, it's not too small, it's cool That's mm -hmm. pretty good, just quite happy with how it went with our stand-up drummer Tom, he learned our set in like less than a week and he got about 95% right, so it's all good, it's all good yeah. <laughs> Nice, okay good. Yeah. So you guys were the opening band tonight, is that hard for you guys to open an all day up? on really early? Yeah, I guess, like, people don't really want to move as much nah. I think we compensate for that by running a bit more I Yeah, think, yeah, uh, so you shoot about <laughs> If other people aren't getting into it and you're running about, it's kind of difficult, it's kind of like, ah, uh, am I doing too much? I don't know, <laughs> just, just like a... Is that the thought process when you're on stage? Yeah, it's a very complex... Much, you know? <laughs> it's a very complex thought process, you know, this band. <laughs> right, okay. So, um, so, this is going out for a US website, so, okay. guys who may not have heard your sound over there, how would you describe yourselves? Silly. Silly. <laughs> not very good. Are you very tongue in cheek? Absolutely uh, nonsense. nonsense. Yeah, tongue in cheek would be a good way to put it. That might be quite appealing though, because there's a lot of death metal bands who are so serious in, you know, in their writing process, and there's always a concept and things. Whereas yeah, someone yeah. quite refreshing and new, and just we really like playing really slammy death metal. And oh yeah, kind of like whole, whole idea of the name is a man. It's really, really pretentious, actually. I was, was going to ask you about the name because on your Facebook, I don't know again, it was a right, right, yeah. the uh, series of true events that led to the band forming in 2010. What were the true events that happened? Uh, no, I just kind of sat in my room for a while. I mean, <laughs> I, I mean they're really... currently being distracted. Yeah, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> but no, yeah. don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like it. Yeah. Well, we, we, get, we, get, like, we, we used to be a band called Catatonic Phenology, right? right? And that was a pretty serious name, right? But not, we all really like death metal and stuff like that, and we all like serious death metal, but we're, we're not really those kind of people. We, I couldn't stomach being on stage like, this next song is called Go to Repugnance, bro. It's all about killing women and fucking butchering kids. <laughs> I, 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 I couldn't really do it. I, I'm, I'm, like, I, I like bands to do, but I, I, I couldn't take myself seriously doing it. So okay. it's, it's, yeah, it's kind of like an anti-image type grind idea. So you're going against the grain? Kind of, kind of. It's so unfeasibly pretentious. You know, we're, we're kind of just doing what we want to do as yeah. well. It's more not deliberately going against or for anything in yeah, particular. 
So where do you want to take the band? Is it is it like I know it's tongue in cheek, but are you taking it seriously from an actual band? Oh yeah, definitely. Progression definitely. Concept? Yes. We are definitely a serious band in that concept. As in, like we play all over the world, we do tours, we organize stuff. Like yeah, have merch to sell, we write songs. We've got we've got like an EP coming out on Autopsy Records, like ne uh, ne yeah next month actually. So I mean, can you tell us a bit more about that? Uh, it's a free track EP. It's a re-recording of a song called Duck Duck the Flagpole and it's uh, two new songs, Tyrone You Put That Sugar Down and High Five Ghost. We have so as a, a relatively new band to the scene, kind of, what is your opinion of the scene at the moment? The UK scene itself is really, really good. I mean, shows in the UK are kind of hit and miss, but I mean, when they're good, they're really good. When they're bad, they can be really bad. But all the bands, like, especially the bands coming out of Scotland at the moment, are amazing. Yeah. I mean, like, there's less duration like, over there. Okay. They're an awesome band. <laughs> uh, like, uh, there's less duration, Agonize the Formy, of course, like, Stuart War and stuff coming out. And, <laughs> and Nick to Savage. <laughs> this is a drummer from Nick to Savage, actually. Well, <laughs> so, uh, No rare are signed to new standard only records, which are one of the best underground death metal labels in the US. So no clue to get a lot more gigs out of that. And uh, we're a band called Party Cannon, who no one, like, people don't know to take seriously or not. Uh, and we're getting gigs like abroad easily and gigs in England. So you wanted to head to the US at all? Sorry, I just kicked you there. Sorry, I just kicked you there. I don't know what happens in the US. So it's a pretty, that's a pretty difficult thing to do, but uh, the way we do things, we never really do things in like two weeks stints, and you couldn't really go to the US and play like free gigs. Yeah, yeah. Come, come, to, come, come to our gigs. Yeah. Fly over. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, like us on Facebook and look, look at our stuff. I guess. Um, check, check out Laceration as well. They're, they're all right. We're gonna speak to him in a minute. Oh, cool. I'm, I'm hoping we're gonna have fun with him when he's doing it. Okay. <laughs> Get revenge. Thank you very right. much. Cool, 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 Thank cool. you. Up next, Laceration. Much more tomfoolery because obviously all of these guys are buddies. Um, but yeah, Laceration have got a really, really strong following in Glasgow, which is awesome. People are really, really into it. And to be honest, if you listen to the stuff or you go and catch them live, um, you'll know why. It's fairly obvious. Um, recently reformed as a full band, it used to just be Hamish um, going up on his own. But I was so impressed by the, the tightness of the, um, the new bassist and drummer. It was absolutely fantastic. It literally just sounded like his program laptop. I thought it was absolutely amazing. They're such a slick band. Um, definitely worth checking out. I mean, it's only going to be a matter of time before they progress further. I'm, I'm quite confident of that. But one thing I want to see from the front man, Hamish, and I don't think I've, I've probably said this before, um, but he's so reserved in between um, songs and when he's playing. And I just want to see a bit more confidence. I want to see a bit more rock star. It wasn't them, actually. It was Nick to Savage. I just remembered. Sorry. Um, but I want to see, you know, he's, he's a great writer, a great vocalist. He's got fantastic playing ability, but he just needs more of an ego on stage. He needs more of that rock star attitude. And then I think he'd just go down an absolute storm. Be nice, you two. Right. Okay, so currently you stood now with a couple of members of Laceration. Guys, how are you enjoying your day? It's, it's been pretty stressful. It's, it's, uh, it's fine. It's fine. It's stressful. Yeah. Why? Just uh, organising band members and things. I'm not used to doing. Are you pointing at this man here? Actually, no. For oh, a change. Right, okay. no, normally him. <laughs> normally it's him. All right. So who is your apart from obviously going to check out yourselves? Who is the fave? Oh, for the love of God! <laughs> right, stop. So who is your favourite band on the bill? I don't know. They're all great. Uh, we're really good friends with Party Cannon, so yeah. uh, I feel obliged to say them. But. Uh, Everyone's really good. Yeah, that's cool. Have you played with any of them before? Uh, yeah, I actually think we've played with every band in this bill. Um, that's right. It's been quite a good atmosphere. Yeah. That's it's only like going to get better. around. <laughs> uh, sorry, carry on. Yeah, it's only going to get better. Yeah. Something goes on, Brilliant. more people bring. So tell me more about the band, because um, it was originally just yourself, but now you've incorporated some of the members in. Yeah, uh, so originally uh, it was a full band, oh, and then, band, um, yeah, and then, yeah, uh, and then, I did it for myself for about a year and a half or something, and now I've got, uh, unfortunately, got Tom and uh, Morgan. Right yeah. <laughs> he says a lot. <laughs> yeah. Why did you decide to go back to getting some numbers in again? 
because playing live really sucks by playing by yourself. Is it quite difficult? Uh, it's not really that difficult, it just doesn't sound as good, it's not really as fun. Because yeah. it's quite innovative, I mean there's quite a few bands coming up, or one man yeah. bands coming up at the moment though, so I mean do you think it might be the way forward? Or? Um, it is a way forward, but uh, I think it should just be like circumstantial. I don't think you should be like, yeah, I'm going to be a one-man band if you could have, uh, yeah. I think it's better if you can get other members, it's going to be better. Okay. Was it quite difficult for you to make a move back to having the band? Um, in a live, live and sort of recording setting? Not really. It's a bit different, but uh, it's not really... It's more fun, so I prefer it. You can kind of bounce ideas on Yeah, exactly. So, um, have we got a new album coming up from yourself? Uh, there won't be a new album for a while. For a little uh, while. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the album just came out in February, I think. So probably be at least a couple of years for uh, release another album. A couple of years, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna take time over this one. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. What are the rest of your plans then, aside from uh, talking about um, this year's pretty quiet, really, for the rest of the year. Um, but next year, we're starting January. We've got a three-day kind of European weekender type thing. We're playing. Um, uh, Belgium and then Germany. Uh, I can't remember the dates, but it's. And then we're playing Dumfries while we go on the way down there. Cool. Um, everyone laughs at Dumfries, but I swear the last time we played it was really good fun. Like so that's the main thing. Yeah. Cool. yeah. Okay, so um, just generally, just to kind of finish off with, where are you wanting to take Laceration? Uh, we'll just see. Is we're, it, I mean, really just kind of your project because you're being very quiet today. Do you have much? At the moment, it's just. At, at the moment, I've just written stuff. But uh, the point of the next album, the reason it'll take so long, is I really want to get Tom Morgan involved in the writing process. Ah, uh, cool. Because uh, I think only one person can only take it so far. So. Yeah. And are you looking forward to that? Yep. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, final words for Skulls and Bones. Anything you want to say? Uh, check out Laceration on Facebook, www.facebook.com forward slash Laceration UK. Um, don't do drugs. Don't do drugs. Buy the album. Don't listen to Party Cannon. <laughs> um, that's, pretty, that's pretty much it. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Good right. evening. What? I want a gin. You want a gin? Okay. Now we will move very quickly and very promptly on to Zombie Fight, um, who hail from Northern Ireland. Now, as far as stage performances go, it was fantastic. Um, they literally just got up on stage and set a whole new bar, I thought, in the building. It was fantastic. They were absolutely mental. And to, for want of a better word, it was really energetic. Um, honestly, it was fantastic. Loads of confidence, which is great to see. And this band have got some real appeal. There's just um, The sound is just completely chunky brutal vocals it's just oh it's kick-ass honestly it's fantastic masses of hair flying everywhere it's just straight up ferocious death metal so if that's the kind of band that you want then check them out currently joined by uh, by zombie five guys how you doing well, on tired. <laughs> when did you get here because it's all been a bit rushed today uh we got here we got over from uh, northern ireland on the thursday wow. and then stayed at fecal jesus's house for like two days so we arrived in glasgow about three hours ago Oh, wow. <laughs> so you guys are looking forward to tonight, or are you still yeah, like, yeah, definitely. Yeah. So you guys, you're currently on tour, is that correct? Well, we were supposed to play last night in Leeds, I but uh, there was a bit of a transport issue, That's so, such a shame. so we didn't get to play. But. Uh, so you're just going to let it all out tonight instead? Well, that's yeah. the plan. Yeah. Awesome. So, um, so you, it's what's quite good about today is it's, it's quite a lot of bands who everyone knows and everyone's touring with, so that must be quite a good atmosphere for tonight. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's brilliant. We toured with Basement Torture, Killings, Desecration and Fetal Juice um, at Easter there yeah. for nine days. So it's great to get over and catch up with them again. And uh, they're all great lads. It's a pleasure to deal with them. And they had a win before. And, yeah. you know, and they're here as well. So yeah, the atmosphere is brilliant. Like, you know, it's... Anything else on this side? Just going to get wrecked and meet people who have known for a while. And... <laughs> That's the next question. I was going to say, what are you bringing to the live show tonight then? <laughs> a whole load of yeah, death and fury. <laughs> I don't think anything more needs to be added to it. Yeah, yeah. death metal, that's pretty good. Sell it, come on. So, Aggressive old school death metal. I think that's the best way to do it. That is the best way. So, um, so obviously the death metal scene, I, I believe it's getting bigger and bigger as time goes on. I don't know if you agree with that statement or not. I think there's a lot more of an audience into it. Do you think it's important to, for bands now to try and stand out? Or do you think it's more about playing what you love or do you just go up, you do your thing and that is what gets your fans? I think if a band wants to 
get somewhere they kind of have to stand out in one respect whether it's through relentless touring obviously their music and the effort to put in um, it's very very easy now just to get thrown into the melting pot with everyone else and it's very very hard to find your identity now because of the plethora of death metal bands that are out there you know yeah. we, new, band, we new bands every day you hear yeah. people including us like we are only like three years old yeah like, yeah you're, you're pretty new but you're, you're building up quite a decent name for yourself though so that's pretty good going oh, well, I think it's just the, the we've been, we've, I think we've been lucky with people who have met um, just who are already sort of big in the, yeah. In the scene. Um, yeah, I think we've been lucky in that yeah. respect. Cancerous Women, Basement Torture, Killings and Beetlejuice have been a massive help to us and uh, Paul McGuire from Cerebral Gore as well, he's put us in contact with some of these bands, you know. Yeah. And, it's yeah, all about getting the right support yeah, and the right backing. We've just been very lucky, we've fallen in with the right people, they're very busy bands and they're lovely guys to deal with and they're just very helpful to us, you know, so it's, yeah. it's fantastic. Also the determination and commitment and all that, you know, <laughs> practice, constant practicing and, uh, you know. Is that yeah. serious? I don't know, you're laughing. <laughs> it's certainly serious for me. That's <laughs> the agent on his own there. Aww, he's <laughs> trying. Okay, so um, what about a new full-length album? Because your EP is out, that came out in 2010. Yep. What's going on with the full-length? Um, well, we kind of delayed the full length wee bit by releasing this split CD with Beetlejuice, Basement Torture, Killings, Nailed and Decimation. So we had about four tracks written and we put three of them onto that. So we kind of set ourselves back at the minute. So we're writing for the full length at the minute. So and, it's in um, the process. Yeah, we're hoping that we'll get it finished within the next year and then record it and take it from there. You know? Can you say anything more about it or is it just... It's pretty much just an idea. It's an idea. <laughs> <laughs> we're just thinking about it for honest, you know, so. uh, But it should be recorded next year, hopefully. Yeah. Yeah, the, the less we say the better, otherwise we'll watch this in a year's time and go, why the yeah. fuck did we say that? <laughs> like, like, <laughs> four tracks to write. It's December next year, it was like, we still haven't even wrote the album yet. Like, yeah. so, um, so like we were saying, you know, you're very new to the scene. Where are you wanting to go? Where are you wanting to take this band? I'll go this side, you've all been very quiet. Like. Where do we want to take the band? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, Holland, oh, yeah, prefer, oh. preferably a, yeah. a two-month tour of Amsterdam, like, it's exclusively. Yeah. Yeah, slightly different area each time, like we're concentrating on writing new songs now as opposed to last year, concentrating on playing live shows as, as many as I could, you know, so, um, yeah, it's taking a, new, a different focus, lots of different focuses so we don't get bored or knock on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> or just realistic but I just I just I'm more than just making friends like we have in the past like we just like all the cancer swim guys every pretty much everybody in there um, I just want to meet more cool people like that and yeah network with those type of people awesome. so what else have you guys got coming up then for the rest of the year anything we are coming? playing the uh, <clears throat> Sunflower Fest in Hillsborough, <laughs> which is an indie festival that we submitted our promo pack for a wee bit of a laugh and got yeah. onto it. And we're supporting Gamma Bomb and this month as well. We have a couple of dates in Ireland with Amputated. And I think we're trying to keep the playing to a minimum because we played an awful lot at the start of the year. And we're just, we just need to get the back broken of this album kind of thing. And every time we'll, write, we'll sit down and write, now we're gigging on Saturday. Oh, I'll set on, you know. So, um, yeah, but another five or six gigs, I think, and then maybe call it for the year and then see how much the album can get written. Yeah. Well, do you guys have anything that you want to add to your Skulls and Bones? We love the US and uh, <laughs> our CD Barking Eugenics and our split CD is available from Amazon.com and all those retailers and from GrindScenerecords.co.uk and we just really love America. Thank you. Brilliant. Anything else inside? Uh, Randall, Ibanez, Planet Waves <laughs> and... <laughs> get your endorsements <laughs> So now we move on to the final interview on this section, but do check out the other video which um, features fetal juice, cancerous womb, amputated and the Welsh masters desecration. Um, so we're going to finish things up now with the band that I'm wearing across my chest, Basement Torture Killings. Um, so as the name suggests, it's not pretty. As the t-shirt suggests, it's really not pretty. Um, but basically I'm going to leave it to the interview to kind of inform you about what they're about. Um, but I mean, if you not aware live wise I thought that absolutely brilliant it was such a shame um, like a lot of the bands that there wasn't 
much movement from the crowd and I always think that's a shame because it must be difficult like I'm saying being early but also playing to a complete deadpan audience especially a bunch of Scottish folk as well when you come from London so I'm sure it wasn't easy but um, it was really really good it's it's always good to see bands um, obviously full kitted out in costume which you'll have to watch the interview for um, full kitted out in costume and going on and just tearing it up and going completely mental on stage whether there's five grumpy looking Scottish blokes there as opposed to even if it was like a full sellout venue so yeah it was really impressive stuff sound wise um, it's just a total grind mash of noise that of course is um, expertly played um, no it was it was really really good there's a lot going on it's real kind of ear bleeding grit which I mean in a very good way um, but no it was fantastic and I like the whole basis of um, basement torture killings as well because Although the theme is gore and murder, which is very prominent in this um, in this scene, the whole character style, the dressing up, and the the actual <laughs> personality and the in depthness that they have gone to is still quite refreshing. It's not something that's overly done in the UK, so I found it fun and uh, very enjoyable to watch. Two members of Basement Torture Killings. How are things going? Yeah, good, pretty good. Um, second down at all, so it's all good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Nothing more to add. <laughs> <laughs> I've just driven from uh, where were we? Leeds to Glasgow. How was the lead show? That was good fun. It was really good. It was really good. Good turnout. The only shit thing was um, there was traffic problems getting up. So two of the bands couldn't play. So that sucked. Oh, that's such a shame. Um, yeah, yeah, because like zombie fight coming from Ireland and stuff yeah. as well. Northern Ireland. You'll probably mm. lynch me for saying Ireland, wouldn't they? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, 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 yeah. they're yeah. quite yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Up north. Yeah. So yeah, um, but yeah, the show was really good. Hot. But yeah, good show, good turnout. So you're looking forward to tonight? Yeah, yeah. yeah it should be it's wicked. First time in Glasgow. So. Oh, is it? Yeah, we've played oh. Edinburgh twice. A couple of, yeah, at least a couple of twice, times. Twice, maybe three mm. times. And they've always been good, so come on over, it should be good. Cool. Oh, yeah. that's quite exciting then. So, just generally to talk about the band. Um, you guys haven't been going all that long, but you're getting quite a decent following. How do you feel about that? It's good. Yeah. <laughs> that's the idea. Yeah, I'm yeah. not complaining. <laughs> yeah. No, it's, it's good. It's like, um, we've started about 2007, yeah. so, but... Um, so it seems like ages ago, but initially it was all done over the internet because he used to live in Sweden. Oh right, yeah. So it was just all sort of like just recording projects in your mm. gig. Do you know much about your um, your US audience? Because I have spoken to a girl who declares herself as your biggest American fan. <laughs> yeah, I, I saw should that. make a shout out to Deanna. <laughs> yeah, hi Deanna. Yeah, that's cool. Like that's yeah. really cool. Do you know what I mean? Um, she actually emailed us about playing there and stuff. Oh, did she? Which you probably don't know. No. Um, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, if that happened, that'd be fucking awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So, on your music video, like um, last year, wasn't it? You did that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was some fantastic responses that you guys made. It was like proper in character stuff. So, I mean, do you really care about what people think, or is it just all a bit of a laugh? It's just a bit of a laugh. Yeah. Like, it's kind of cool if people put a comment one way or the other because you've got mm, a reaction out of it, true, rather yeah. than it's just like, oh. Um. So, but yeah, there was a couple of like, uh, there's one guy on the team. I think I gave a bit of stick back oh, to. There was a really good comment. There was there was a, was a shit song, shit video. Yeah, yeah, yeah we wanted to shit band. Yeah. Like, <laughs> we even put on a t shirt. Yeah, that, that was fucking awesome. Like, you've got to admire that kind of originality. Yeah. So, yeah. But it's cool, do you know what I mean? It's like, if people like it, it's cool. And if they don't, well, that's fair enough. At least they've checked it out. Take it on the yeah. yeah, oh, that's fair enough then. Okay, so um, so what have you guys have come out with a new album? What's um, the uh, that? That's down to you, isn't it? Yeah. We're recording at the moment. Cool. Um, we got so we've basically done all the recording. There's a little bit left to do. It's mainly just getting all the mixing and stuff yeah. done now. So. so, we've got 17 songs, I think. Wow. Um, okay. But we're only going to put 11, 12 out. Yeah. Um, and then we've got some stuff left in the basement. Yeah. Um, just <laughs> 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 slipped it. Yeah. yeah, no, just we do some splits and shit like that. Oh, cool. So, um, yeah, and we're releasing it on Grime Scene Records. Yeah. Sweet. So, should be good. Um, got all the artwork, all the photos and everything. It's awesome. just, just, just getting just it get finished it off together. now. Yeah, yeah. So, is there any idea, any kind of concept on it, or is it just murder? Murder, torture, and uh, mayhem. What's it? Brutal night of torture. It's called. Yeah. That's a brutal so, night of torture. Yeah, okay. so, yeah. so any that kind of says it all. Yeah. Any release date on that? Um, hopefully October. Is yeah, the plan. Oh. That's committing me to October. Yeah. So, yeah, can I work? Can I work that fast? Loosely, we shall see. Term. That's okay. that's that's what we'd like to do because we're doing the dates of prostitute disfigurement mm. in October. Um, so if we could tie that all in, that would be cool. But it's, it's going to take the time it takes because we don't want to rush it and be shit. Do you know what yeah, I mean? no, fair so. enough. Okay, that's cool. So how do you guys approach writing? Because obviously you are on stage in videos. It's all very character based. Yeah. Do you take that into account when you're writing, or is it just you write? Is, it, is that just who you are? <laughs> yeah, that's us. Yeah. <laughs> I think it, it, no, no, it's 
not a lot. It's not a lot based on uh, real, you know, like um, real serial killers. It'll be based on other situations yeah. most of the time. But it's not necessarily based on the characters directly either. Mm. But it's normally little stories, and some of them sometimes like interlink with other things um, and other stories. Like, and we've got stuff on this album that's sort of lyrically connected to the last one. Oh, so. nice! It's like a movie. Uh, on. Yeah. Oh, that's but yeah, it's all just like the whole horror concept and stuff. Because yeah. like, that's the way we view ourselves. It's like it's just a horror movie, except in mm. band format yeah. obviously with the characters and everything um, it just makes it a bit more interesting because mm. I mean we've not got long hair or anything anymore <laughs> so and he's in his 40s so really? it's like you look good you're feeling good yeah, so it was just something a bit different mm. and um, so yeah so like the characters take on their own sort of um, persona and it's really interesting because people tell us what the characters are about and what they're into and stuff <laughs> like <laughs> yeah. But, that, but that's how it works. It's kind of it's like cool. subjective. Everyone yeah. can make their own thing, yeah. right? Which is, you know, which I think is which is good. <laughs> they have they have certain personas, I would say. Yeah. That so like my character Bertrand is sort of more the, uh, is a bit more the sort of. Uh, Perv. Yeah, a bit more the sort of <laughs> perv, basically, and like likes to play with like dolls and stuff, and makes dolls of his victims, and then like you know uh, okay. whatever he does to the doll, he the music does to video the is coming into play. Yeah, though. exactly. Yeah, yeah. So there's there's a lot of play play with that, and then his his mine's his a bit more like sadistic. Yeah, and very um, very nasty. Is filthy. Yours the yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. Okay. He's yeah. like a real filthy one. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I get ripped trousers, which is good actually because I don't have to buy new trousers. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so yeah, and there was this whole concept at one point that he was like from like a rich background oh, and okay. stuff, and yeah, it was all sort still, of. That's still still there nice. Yeah, it's, it's all like, kind of quite, something yeah, aristocracy kind of, you know, lives on some massive run down estate and. This would make yeah. a great film. <laughs> yeah, we've yeah, yeah, thought about that. Yeah, yeah. 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 So when we and, get, and don't forget then uh, number four, the drummer. Yeah, he's mm -hmm. um, a mechanic. Right, okay. And I'm not quite sure how we come up with that, but re even before he was in the band, we knew it was going to be a mechanic. Right. So he's all like, he's got, um, you know, a little bit of Wolf Creek, picks okay. people up, takes them back, and yeah. does stuff to them. So you, you had all this planned before the band started, you were just kind of. It kind of. We, basically, when we first started, it was just a recording project. Mm. And um, I was just visiting uh, in Sweden, and rather than go out because it was cold, we just thought, let's just write a song. Mm. We wrote one song, did a MySpace. Mm and recorded everything in one day mm. and at that point the band was going to be like um i can't remember what it was that like ted bundy on vocals yeah. and blah 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 and people really liked it and we're like well we can't dig up dead serial killers or incarcerated serial killers so what are we going to do and like, i've always been into the legal gentleman yeah. and um <laughs> robert newman like used to be in newman and Bedell, has got these oh, characters yeah. called um the liveries or the lavenders or something on youtube yeah. and like that I didn't for me was still going yeah yeah, yeah, he's, yeah. <laughs> he's, he's super political now it's not oh, as good right. um but yeah so no, that co not. that mm. concept all came from there mm. um and then it's just kind of he just did his thing i did my thing and then um as i say it just sort of all grew organically it was only with the drummer that we knew we wanted him to be a mechanic mm -hmm. sort of from the start and i don't know where that came from it's just, oh, it's just mm. something we've watched obviously yeah. and I mean, then we've got to put some time in to get the new material into the live set because yeah. we're really excited about trying to you know so you're not playing any tonight no, no. Um, well there's one song actually because yeah. we did a split vinyl desecration mm -hmm. Um, so that song's on the album, yeah. um, so we're playing that. But other than that, it's all. And then we stuff. also did the um, split worse and death on um, grind yeah, yeah, with feet with, juice. and that that was and zombified. More recent, wasn't it? So we're playing what a couple of yeah, tracks two or three tracks. Things, that so, well. Oh, that's cool. Um, but it's good to sort of keep it moving and keep mm, it fresh definitely. and stuff. So yeah, I just to. really want to. But I've got no time to be learning new songs until I can get this bloody mix done so okay. <laughs> it's like one thing at a time okay well that's it then if, unless you guys have anything else that you want to add oh, I've got anything to no, no. no. <laughs> so just yeah. keep it brutal and murder's good yeah. apparently yeah and go like them on Facebook and go like us on Facebook basement torch killings yeah mm -hmm.